today's video I'm gonna show you how to actually get less input delay in Fortnite chapter 2 season 8. Trust me guys, all of the extra steps I'm going to mention in today's video are actually new and very important if you want to get less input delay in Fortnite. This guide is not only gonna give you less latency and boost your FPS, but also make your PC way more responsive. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, the first step in today's video is probably the most important one in a very long time. Like I see way too many people just getting a new PC, reinstalling Windows, whatsoever, and they're complaining about audio delay, input delay, and whatsoever. Some of their stuff is just not simply working 100%. But don't be worried guys, I got you covered. Literally guys, what you need to do is click on the first link in the description. Then I'm gonna put this program here on onto my Discord. It's called SDI. And yeah, once you get it here on your PC, just simply right click onto it and extract all of here um, onto the desktop. It's super, super easy guys. Then just simply open it up. And then we can see in here, drivers, indexes, logs, tools, and here the EXO. And we're gonna go for the SDI X64 R2102 EXO. This is the one we wanna click on guys. Just simply double click onto it and you can see that this new program here opens up guys. And this is called Snappy Drivers and it's gonna literally make sure that all of your drivers on your PC are up to date. There's so many people who complain about audio delay and they haven't even installed the latest drivers guys. And as you can see, you can once download literally every single driver here on your PC, network drivers only or the index one only. And I think the index one makes the most sense since I already did a separate network guide guys where I'll show you exactly what you need to do for the lowest amount of ping. And I'm just gonna read it out real quick guys. This allows you to scan your PC to see which drivers need to be installed or updated. Super important guys. I mean, this is just gonna replace exactly the ones which we need, but I'm not gonna click on it because this program actually has also some extra features. Where I can right now type in if it only should update newer driver versions, um, better matches, worse matches, older, current. Like you can also find older drivers because for some instance on some sound cards, I think all the drivers work better than the current ones, especially if you're rocking like an older motherboard. So therefore you can also do it here in this program. But let's just say we're gonna go here only for newer and better. And we can see already here that 52 driver packs are actually available. And we're just gonna click onto it. And now you can see here we have video drivers for AMD. We have whatsoever, literally everything which is here right now on our PC guys, sound drivers, literally everything. And what we were gonna do is click on this PC only. And we're gonna click onto it and you can see the total download size is only 13 megabytes. It actually only found a few drivers here since I just recently actually did this. And yeah, and I know how to actually keep my drivers up to date. So we're just gonna click onto accept here real quick guys. And it's gonna download them now in the background. And you can see that it's downloading 15.8 uh, megabytes. And it's just gonna take a few seconds. And as you can see guys, it's now downloading the missing drivers here in the background actually. And now you can see guys, it found actually a ton of drivers here for my CPU because that's like the only AMD component I actually have on my PC guys. We have uh, here something for our Nvidia um, USB type C port, which is on the back side of my graphics card. Then we have um, my Zoe monitor. There's also something here which is a Weibull. So therefore I'm just gonna probably install this one here as well. We have actually something for my Nvidia high definition audio input, but since this is only my monitor, I'm not gonna do this one. But what actually matters here is the Realtek high definition audio. We have an update here and those are actually my headphones. So therefore I'm just gonna go through this one and yeah, so guys, and once we got everything selected, which is important, we're just gonna click onto install and it's only gonna take a few seconds, guys. It's not gonna be like too long here. And you can see this program literally fixes all of the driver issues on your PC, which is crazy. You can obviously also before create a restore point here in this program already as well, which is really cool. I mean, otherwise you have to do it on Windows. And yeah, you can also put in here the option to reboot your PC after the installation. It's just gonna take now the drivers guys. And as you can see, actually my audio drivers weren't like really, really, really up to date. So therefore this program is gonna fix it for me. And as you can see, the program is also automatically going through the installation process itself. You actually don't have to accept anything. It's just gonna do it here automatically in the program, which is super, super nice guys. And especially having your audio drivers up to date is super important. And the other thing which I just downloaded here is my controller for my mainboard here actually. And and yeah, you can see here it requires a PC restart. So I'm just gonna do it and then we're already done here with this step. You can deinstall this program or keep it. You know, you can like just check like maybe like once once a month. I think that's enough. And yeah, now let's continue with the next step. So guys, and what I want you to do now in the next step is literally go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in storage until you find the storage settings of Windows. Just simply open it up 
And then you can see right now here that we have temporary files in there and I have almost 30 gigabytes guys. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna take a look what it actually is. And you can see guys, we have downloads, recycle bin, delivery optimization files, and those are literally just for Microsoft for like Windows updates, you know, but we already installed everything of these so we can we can straight up delete everything here guys. And yeah, I'm also going to select here the recycle bin and my downloads I'm actually going to keep here. And as you can see guys, we got a total size of 7.9 gigs guys here of temporary files which we can straight up just delete guys. Like those are all Windows updates, we have some DirectX shader cache here, Windows upgrade log files, everything unnecessarily. So we're just going to click on to remove files and go on continue and yeah just enjoy your 10 gigs of free storage i think like most of the pcs are gonna have at least like five gigs since like all the windows updates and we just freed this actually up and yeah now we're gonna close this yeah you can see it for yourself <laughs> we freed up quite a bit and yeah guys now i'm just gonna show you in a real quick step here how to actually defragment and optimize your main hard drive or all the hard drives on your pc and all you guys have to open up in the first place is this pc here you know it's it's literally called like that and then you can see like all the drives you have right now you're on your pc so for me it's a two terabyte m.2 ssd and a normal 120 gigabyte ssd and what you guys want to do is right click onto your local disk and go into properties. And once we're in here guys, you can see already this new window and we have general, tools, hardware and sharing. And what you guys want to do in the first place is click onto tools here on the top one and look for error checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors and we're just simply going to click onto it and we're going to press here scan drive and it's just going to take like a few seconds, minutes depending on how fast your SSD or HDD is or just in general like a hard drive. And as we can see guys, Windows successfully scanned the drive, no errors were found. This is really good already guys, and now we're gonna click on to optimize and defragment drive. Optimizing your computer's drive can help run it more efficiently, and what this pretty much does is guys, um, you know like every time you install a new program, you get a new Fortnite clip, whatsoever guys, Windows is just throwing this somewhere on the drive, and Windows doesn't even know exactly where it is, so every time you wanna open up something, you know, which you just recorded, or a new program, you just wanna open it up, Windows has to search for your entire drive and optimizing your drives and defragmenting them is just simply going to sort everything into specific folders for Windows um, so it's like easier to find certain programs and it's less hardware demanding since Windows already knows where the programs are. So therefore we're just going to click here on the main drive and go on to optimize. And you can already see guys here on the right side current status 40% already trimmed. We're just gonna wait real quick. And as you can see guys, now my drive is literally fully optimized. Windows knows exactly where all the files are. I don't even have to do it for my second SSD since I haven't even used this one since I switched over to Windows 11. But for the sake of the video, I'm also just gonna do it. But as you can see, it went like super fast here. And I would definitely recommend you to do this at least like once or twice a month guys. And trust me, you will see a performance increase. And with that said, we can already close here everything and we're already done with this step as well. And yeah guys, for this next step here, I'm gonna show you a program which is probably better than time asset resolution which i'm utilizing now since two weeks guys since i showed it in my best competitive fortnite settings guide for season eight and we're talking about filter keys this program you can of course also find in the description on my discord guys just simply join there you can download it straight up from there and just drag it onto your desktop and once you get it here on the desktop itself guys it should look a little bit like this here and i'm just gonna go here real quick over the best settings um, pretty much what you guys need to do is ignore under you gotta put it on zero milliseconds repeat delay to 150 milliseconds and repeat rate to uh, 25 milliseconds because if you put the repeat delay a little bit too high guys uh, it might actually happen that you just tap your i don't know vasd keys once and it's gonna tap it like eight times in a row it's just gonna spam your keys so therefore you don't want to really like put it below 150 and the repeat rate on 25 milliseconds as well and once you set it up here probably guys here on the right side you just gotta unclick everything here until we reach to on and available these are like the only ones you gotta leave on here actually in the background guys and you can also like test it out for yourself you'll literally see how much more responsive your keyboard is gonna be we're just gonna press the apply and yeah now we're gonna test it out you can see how much faster we can actually type here guys and yeah trust me this is such a huge advantage in fortnite competitive so many fortnite pro players are using filter keys or timer set resolution but i personally have to say i would um, prefer filter keys since it's just a little bit more faster and actually more responsive so therefore yeah if you want to have like a biggest competitive advantage you need to utilize this tool just simply let it run always in the background guys um yeah and then just simply go into your epic games launcher launch fortnite 
and yeah don't even worry about this program it's just gonna work in the background do exactly its thing and then you can enjoy fortnite on lower and Patele. and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light Big four and ho come get inside Dami Gucci Lee come take a dive Kill that shit but this don't kill the vibe Yeah